Hi, I'm Alok Shrivastava and welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So it's been quite a long time since I had posted a video in English. I was busy actually slightly uh, uh, going to a couple of uh, trainings aligned and uh, for the past uh, couple of days I was trying to put some videos in Hindi as it was in demand. So this is a video which I had already posted in Hindi. Now I just wanted to have it in English also. So guys, uh, this is a very serious topic actually and the reason I am putting it here is that I have seen a lot of uh, seasoned sys admins trying to kill a process in a fundamentally wrong way, actually wrong way. So we need to understand the basic difference between the signal terminate and the signal kill. The idea is if we are trying to kill a process and I am a sysadmin, I am handling servers. So which is the best way of killing a process? Either I should use signal terminate or signal kill. So let's understand it. I'll try to use a very simple example here. Let's and I, I will be using this machine for my lab. This is the machine which I will be using here. So first we need to understand what happens when we start a process, right? So let's say uh, I've, I, I, uh, I have tried using a very simple example here. Let's say this is a process here, right? The process name is John Doe. So John Doe, Mr. John is a Linux process. So as you are aware and if you are not aware then whenever you start a process the chances are that every Linux process will have some threads. So like any other processes John Doe might start some threads. With those threads he will be sharing context, memory spaces, beautiful memories and John Doe loves those threads. So consider them as the children of John Doe. So when the John Doe started a process, it starts certain threads, certain other processes. They, they might be child processes also. Right. So how can I see it? So let's try to start a process. So if I go back to my machine, just to make it easy, if I start an application here, say I start Firefox. So Firefox is a process. So from a high level perspective, I have simply started a application, Firefox. That's all. Right. But what happened when you start this Firefox, it might have started certain threads which are not visible to me, which I can check it out. So if I give a PID of Firefox, it shows me the PID. So the number, the lowest number is the main thread. So if I use the top command to find out the threads, H is for finding out the threads for a particular process. So I give 3698. So these are guys are the threads which are started by the Firefox. See, Firefox is the main process. And these are all the threads which are required by the Firefox to run successfully. So these are automatically started. I didn't start it those. And it is verified that they belongs to the same namespace or they belongs to the same memory space. If you see it carefully here, the virtual memory, the resident set size and the shared memory of all these threads, including the Firefox is common. So they are belonging to a same namespace, right? Perfect. So I just quit it here. I just quit it. So when you start a process, so John Doe, like the Firefox has started certain processes. Now, what if I intend to kill it? Okay, so when I intend to kill a process that let's say the process hanged, it's not behaving properly. So when I kill it, I can use the signal terminate the signal number is 15, right? So when I give signal terminate, so we are the sysadmin. Wow, scary, but not like that. So when we give the signal terminate to John Doe or in my case Firefox, so what I'm doing, I'm actually doing a graceful kill. Graceful kill means, okay, and like any other process, every process will eventually die, like humans. So when a, a admin, like us, when a admin gives a signal to 
the John Doe, the Firefox here, hey, I wanted to kill you. This is your time. You should leave the planet Earth now. Right. So when I'm giving the signal 15, that means I am giving fair amount of chance to John Doe to talk to his child, to talk to the threads that, hey, my dear children, this my time has came and now I'm leaving the planet. So because the threads might be doing something, some some jobs, right? Some 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 thread might be responsible for handling uh, like certain queries coming onto the web browser. So when I say signal 15, I am doing a graceful kill. Signal terminate. What does that mean? That means I am giving John Doe a chance to talk to the kids. Hey kids, I am leaving. Something like, um, like that. Consider it that the Firefox is saying to all the threads. When I say all the threads, that means these all the threads these all the threads i am killing i am killing what i am killing firefox right i'm killing the firefox so when i kill the fire the firefox using the signal terminate firefox has got the time to talk to all his threads that hey my dear threads i am going to leave the planet very soon so please finish your jobs whatever you are doing might be some some threads is taking care of audio and video something like that might be happening so the firefox get a chance to talk to the kids and the kids and the signal terminate also ask the firefox will also ask the threads do does anyone wants to come come with me so under the signal terminate under the signal terminate now this is important under the signal terminate what happens let me just remove this drawing here so when we are giving the signal terminate so what exactly i'm doing so i'm giving firefox a chance to talk to the kids so the like kids can finish the the job they can say goodbye they can hug each other that is how a process lives so i am and one important thing, sick term doesn't kill the child process. One thing is that I'm killing the parent, right? So in normal lives, when like a parent died or like someone parent died, that 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 doesn't mean that the child is going to be killed, right? So the terminate signal can be ignored, can be blocked. So a child can ignore it. The terminate signal says, hey, I'm going to take your father, right? I'm, I'm going to take the Firefox with, with me. Any children wants to come? When you say the signal terminate to the Firefox. So it asks, anyone wants to come? A cushion will, will be there. A child has got all the rights to ignore it. No, my dear says admin, I don't want to die right now. I'm too young to die. So a child process can ignore the terminate signal. It can ignore. So it is a kind of a graceful killing of a process which should always be done. Right? Now, what happens when I say sick kill, which is being, let me remove this uh, drawing here. So when I give signal nine, sick kill, so that is I'm brutally killing the whole family. That's it. So means the father died, the threads died, everyone died abruptly. This is a bad, bad thing. So means the children doesn't know that the parent has, has died. The parent doesn't know what happened to my children. They're not able to talk to each, to each other. Might be a child thread was doing something. Try to consider this. If I will kill it using the signal nine, might be some threads are doing something but it killed the whole family abruptly, which is really a sad thing and a bad thing. So it might lead to data loss. And it is really sad because no one knows what happened and killing a signal or sorry, killing a process using the sick kill might lead to creating of zombie processes because and one more thing that I wanted to make uh, you remember is that signal 9 cannot be ignored or blocked so the children will die must die along with the parent but it might be a case where might be one thread might be used by some some other application so that is a 
total uh, undesired kind of a thing that we wanted to happen on our servers and killing a process using the signal 9 might lead to creating the zombie processes why because the child will never get a time to update his parents the parent died parent didn't updated the kernel and the children doesn't know what happened to my parent so that might lead to creating the uh, zombie processes so that I can check it out from here also if I click here so this is one of the command which I have shown you if, if you wanted to see the threads of any particular process you can use the top command and check it out it's simple stuff so these are all the threads you can also uh, so when I do the kill when I say kill say the PID is 3698 when I say K here and the default is 3698 I press enter here see by default the system is so intelligent it automatically sends a terminate signal it will never send a 9 signal a kill signal that means if I press enter here the Firefox will talk to all the threads there hey my dear kids I'm going to die please finish whatever job you are doing right and anyone who don't want to come with come with me has got all the rights to ignore it so this thread might ignore it I don't want to die so he can ignore it add this kill signal oh, sorry the terminate signal. right so that is the right way of killing the process please don't use signal 9 whenever you are killing a process so I press enter here the Firefox is gone and I can safely see no threads now because the process is not there right so that is I think one of the rarest time you see a top running blank just because we were monitoring or seeing the threads of a particular process so I hope guys I was able to clear uh, you the difference between the signal kill and the signal terminate so unless and until it is end of the world guys please do not use signal kill 9 that's all for this video and thank you very much for loving us for watching us and I'll be back soon with some new and interesting topics meanwhile if you hadn't subscribed don't forget to subscribe don't forget to kill that uh, not kill sorry to click on that bell symbol so that you will be getting updates and I will be seeing you soon till then bye bye take care Godspeed